all your Instagram posts about the last time you played golf in Argentina. So right. walk us through that and what's so special about this place for you. Well, 2013 played the Argentina Open. Uh, it was the last event on PJ Tour Latino America that year. And it was at North Delta, uh, just down the road. And I was had my wife on the bag. Uh, it was the culmination of the of the year of winning the Order of Merit on that on that tour. Um, I finished fifth, the last day playing with Angel Cabrera, who I think had won the Masters recently, um, at least, maybe even that year. And uh, the crowds were pretty electric out there. It was fun. And so, what does it mean this week to be having your game just trending and, and playing well? Yeah. Uh, apparently, the vibes are good down here in Buenos Aires, and. I, something kind of clicked during the practice round, and I've been working hard at home the last two weeks, and it's nice to see it, you know, pay out out here. What specifically have you been working on? Uh, a lot of it is rhythm and kind of getting in sync a certain way uh, with my swing, and um, made a, even like a little bit of a grip change and kind of a feel on the way back, um, kind of getting the club moving a little bit faster, and it all in all it just kind of gets things in sync better. You had to go back to Q school in the offseason, but did you right. manage to get away from the golf or something with the family? Just anything that was out of, out of the Well, it's hard when the Q school dates are what they are, right? And uh, I had to even go to second stage, which is probably the most nervous I've ever been playing golf um, was second stage. Just you know what it means. Um, I was able to take a little bit of time off, and um, my I grew up in Miami. And my parents still live there, and so we were able to spend a little time there before and after uh, the Bahamas events. So um, that was nice.